crash at the airfield. <laughs> If you're wondering what the f*** you just watched, that was a demo of my battery charger emailer. I got the idea for the project when I moved my charging station to the garage and wanted some kind of notification when it completed a cycle. That got me thinking Internet of Things and wondering what would be a simple and inexpensive way to get an email when the charger's buzzer went off. Getting a trigger from the charger was pretty straightforward. Uh, by simply monitoring the piezoelectric buzzer's power pin, you can detect when an event has occurred. So my only mod to the charger was adding an output jack. The jack's tip connection is wired to the buzzer's positive side and the sleeve is wired to ground. My original prototype was based on the Huzzah Feather from Adafruit. It's a slick little board with Wi-Fi, but Arduinos need a third-party service to send emails and I felt that dependency ran against the spirit of the build. That led me to the Raspberry Pi. Specifically, the little Raspberry Pi Zero that sells for around five bucks. If you're unfamiliar with the Pi ecosystem like I was, these are full-on single board computers that are cheap and easy to set up. The Zero is the smallest and least expensive board in the Pi family, and one of the ways they kept the cost down was by leaving out any networking hardware. But my project needed wireless connectivity, so I added a Red Bear IoT hat. The IoT sells for around $15 and provides the Pi with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's the same size and form factor as the Zero and gives you the option of using its onboard antenna or adding an external antenna for greater range. Powering the emailer requires a 5 volt 2 amp supply that's normally fed to one of the Zero's USB ports. But because the metal box I used is paper thin, I decided against making a hole big enough to pass a USB cable and added a power jack instead. The tip connection of the jack is hardwired to the Pi's 5 volt rail while the sleeve is wired to ground. I installed a matching plug on a USB cable so I could power it from an unused iPad charger. And I chose Newman's own Ginger Mints because awesome graphics and delicious. The program is an if-then-else loop I wrote in Python that pulls three of the Pi's general purpose input-output ports, or GPIO ports. Two of these ports are assigned to push buttons, while the third monitors the charger. A fourth port is configured as an output that drives the LED status indicator. When the buzzer goes off, an email is sent, the script is latched into standby, and then waits for a manual reset. When the emailer is first run, the LED slowly flashes five times to indicate the script is loaded. After that, the LED remains off until the Start Reset button has been pressed. To work correctly, Start Reset can't be pressed until the charger has started a cycle. This is because most LiPo chargers beep with each key press, something that would be seen as an event and cause a false trigger. After a cycle has started, balance, fast charge, discharge, etc., it's time to press the Start Reset button. The LED will then blink once every two seconds as a heartbeat to show the script is actively awaiting an event. When an event is detected, the LED momentarily goes on and then flashes rapidly to indicate an email is in the process of being sent. Once the email is sent, the LED remains on continuously until the Start Reset button is pressed again. Well, that's it. Uh, I've included links in the description to a more in-depth look at the build. And that includes the heavily commented Python script and a review of all important LiPo safety. This was my first foray into both Raspberry Pi and Python, and I gotta say I'm impressed with how smoothly it all went. Um, there are probably countless uses for a device like this, uh, perhaps especially for the hearing impaired, and I hope it inspires others to build something similar. Uh, and if you do, please share a link to your project because I'd really like to see it. If you have any questions or comments, please share them in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, please click like because it really does help. And as always, thanks for watching. <music>